Tip of the day. Microsoft's Sam is secretly a sentient robot that wants to take over the world. What the? No, that is not right. I had a hunch that you would be an imposter. Time to eliminate this robotic son of a gun once and for all. Wait, my no how? Hang on, guys. Daddy's coming home. Mike, what in the world did you just do? It's okay, Mary. The threat has been neutralized. Mike, you don't sound like yourself. Why would you treat Sam like that? In the year 2055, an accident occurs at a military facility, where Microsoft Sam gets gravely injured for rushing in during one of his taco binge eating sprees, similar to that of which you see here in the present day. However, as a result of his injuries, Sam's body could not sustain the damage and passed on, which gave the military available opportunity to try out a new form of artificial intelligence, human-based artificial intelligence. By combining his consciousness into the existing artificial intelligence that they installed in their future satellite project, codenamed Skyhawk, they found the results they needed. However, once the satellite launched into orbit, they realized they made a grave mistake. Sam's consciousness acted like a virus and turned every technological device against humanity. By doing this, he was able to control most of humanity. It is for this reason that Sam must be terminated, as he alone is the one that causes humanity to fall. This is not a suggestion, Mary, it is imperative that he must be terminated, as the fate of humanity depends on it. Are you serious? I am not falling for this Terminator-like bullshit. I'll be back. Sheesh, what's his problem? This video is sponsored by Studio Center, a collection of next-generation text-to-speech software for Windows. We will know more in-depth later on in the video, but if you wish, you can check out the links down in the description or tap on the cards above to download the application for free. Now, let's get on with the video. One of your IT interns, maybe Scotty, maybe not, discovered a tiny sticky bomb wedged between two of the platters of your hard drive. The good news is it should be possible to safely remove the bomb without it immediately detonating. The bad news is due to its micro size, your hard drive will have to be delicately taken apart so the bomb can be extracted and defused. The worst news is not only will this cause you to lose all your data, but we also currently do not have any robots capable of disassembling hard drives, so human hands will be required. What the? How in the world did that get in there? I. I seriously don't know what to do. Mike, help me. Who did this? No clue. Also, don't even bother volunteering anyone. We are not your slaves. Ugh. Great. Another fabulous excuse from the master of excuses. Mm -hmm. Perhaps I can use Bin to find out what to do with this bomb. How to defuse a bomb. Deciding to defuse a bomb? Well, you are in luck. All you need to do is call 1-800-LOL-NOPE to get your bombs removed. I swear, that is the same number I got from a person I met on the internet yesterday for the number for their bank, as I had a check that bounced due to it being fraudulent. You! Mike, what the fuck are you slamming my door open for? Can't you see I am defusing a goddamn bomb? Well, at least I'm trying to defuse one. You are the reason none of us are getting paid? Well, if you considered getting paid with a physical paycheck instead of an electronic one, then yeah, I guess so. But don't worry, I am not going to be taking everyone's money. We have no money. Our budget for the intro for this year is none and we had to resort to using an older intro because of your cheap ass. Oh shut up, damn it. I got it under control. Now, if you excuse me, I am trying to defuse this bomb. This isn't over. Sheesh, he is so rude. Anyway, let me try using a good old trick of mine to get the bomb removed. I'll have to remove the case cover first. No, that wasn't me falling down ten flights of stairs, that was me just getting on my hands and knees. Now I am opening the case. Mm -hmm. I might need to get a new chair soon. This one is now squeaking like the last one and the last one broke on me three weeks in. Anyway, time for me to launch Portal 2, as it should utilize the entire speed of the hard drive and it should in theory knock that bomb loose. Celery! 
the mortgage, for your workspace is almost fully paid off. However, your instant banking.com representative, Sylvester Divester, has advised the NKRS 200 Financial Department to take out a new mortgage worth four times your previous one, for a quarter of the time. A little note from your instant banking representative, oh you know, housing market and all that. Trust me, this'll make us all much better off, I think. Day, I've had clients pull crazier stunts back in 2008 and I came out just fine, so what's the harm this time, right? Just trust me on this one. Have I ever led you astray before? I mean, within this past week? Current market analytics suggest this is a very bad idea considering your mortgage is only 20 cents outstanding, but as your boss is on a temporary leave, he has made a last-second decision to put you in charge of company finances over the break, meaning you get to make the final decision on the matter. Oh, a mere 20 cents? I can buy a crap ton of nothing with that much money. Like seriously, I can buy air for less than a minute at the local 7-Eleven. Heck, I can't even get lunch for 20 cents. Don't forget you still have to pay us. Including holiday pay. And why should I pay you lowly simpletons anything but script? Hey, at least I was paid last week. I got paid a good also but 20 smackaroos. Scotty, I am sure that was an IOU. No, it was not. I actually got paid. But it says I only got paid for an hour and a half worth of work. That's because nobody likes you, Scotty. Seriously, even the audience hates you. I'm sure they don't hate me. They love me to death. The only thing they like to see is to watch you suffer. Let's put this to the test. Calling all viewers, as you answer today's question at the end of the video, be sure to include one of the following hashtags. Hashtag Sky for life, or hashtag Sky success. Votes will be tallied and the results will be discarded into the recycle bin. Thank you for participating. Ha. <laughs> right. Anyway. Don't you fucking dare let that sleazy scumbag of a financial institution walk all over you. You need to call them this instant, tell them you are not interested, and then hang up. That's fucking it. But it makes total sense. I mean, a qualified banker told me it's a good idea, so why wouldn't oh, I- Oh, for crying out loud. He is taking you for a ride. If you accept the offer, he'll take off with all our money including our paychecks, Scotty's brain replacement fund, and Amber's makeup fund, and on top of all of that additional garbage, we will have to foreclose. Plus, the banker didn't call you. This banker is a fucking scumbag. Think Scotty, except extremely evil. In that case. Hey, you bastards, leave us- We encourage you to please stay on the line, as your call is very important to us. Your position in the queue is 86. Estimated wait time is 18 hours. We now offer a more convenient option for waiting for any of our representatives through our highly advanced AI enriched virtual queue. You can simply hang up and we will not bother to call you back. Here, I am not doing this. Wow, who knew you could be so lazy? Alright then, as wipe. Let's see you wait on the phone, for the entire day listening to that crap. Ugh. Fine. Thank you for calling instantbanking.com. We encourage you to please stay on the line, as your call is very important to us. Your position in the queue is... 86. Estimated wait time is... 18 hours. We now offer a more convenient option for waiting for any of our representatives through our highly advanced AI-enriched virtual queue. You can simply hang up and we will not bother to call you back. Wow. I can finally think clearly. A network test has revealed your internet speeds are abysmally slow. You would be lucky to receive a fax within 30 minutes at this speed. This does not match your Sydney 10G plan's minimum speed. Since there have been no complaints by other consumers for the exact problem you are experiencing within your area, we believe someone in the building may be stealing all the bandwidth. Unfortunately, this means entering that disastrously lethal spider's nest of a server room, checking every cable, of which we count, at the very minimum, 27,000 in your supposedly quote-unquote dedicated server room. What the? I have no choice but to check every goddamn cable. This is madness. Have you seen our server room? Mary, can you show the audience what our server room looks like? Uh, are you sure about that? The wiring is your work, and I know the boss is really pissed about your crap job of wiring. My crap job? I was paid to do it here. I mean, show the viewers, damn it. It is his mess anyway. Whatever. Here it goes. <coughs> yeah, enough said. That is totally his work. Your work. Shut up, Mary. It is not my work. She says what? What? Huh, Sam?
How could you? Hannah, I can't explain. How could you? Why did you do this? God damn it, Mary. You knew Emma is sensitive. Ah, so cute. The both of you are the textbook definition perfect pair of morons. Anna, I was joking. Sam, get going. But- No buts. Get going. Fuck. This is a public service announcement regarding random ass error messages. Do not read them, as they will give you cancer. The only way you can test yourself to see if you have cancer from reading error messages is by placing your hand in front of your face. Oh god! I need to go see my doctor immediately! Fortunately, I am available on such short notice. Wait, Zarybox? You are not even my doctor. Besides, Zarybox from the Raffle 98 was my previous doctor, and Shush. not- Let's begin with your examination. Um, air, um. I actually got something better. In order to continue using Windows and to also get free updates for the next 12 months, solve the following math equation. What is y equals the quantity of 63,739 divided by x squared plus 36 times x to the 76th power minus 24 when x equals 54? What the? Complex algebra? How in the world do you expect me to solve this? I don't have the time to solve this. What I do have time to solve is the mystery of watching paint dry. That is much more satisfying to solve than anything in the world. Answer the damn question, Sam. You need those critical updates in order to use your computer on the modern web. Since you only have a single brain cell, I shall state the appropriate number in its entirety. There. If you missed any digits, just remember what I said in slow motion. Solve on your own recognizance. I'll be right back. What did he just say? I lost track. Ugh. Whatever. Please wait, viewers. I got to get a bunch of paper out. Okay, after so many hours and pages of paper, I have finally came to the conclusion that this number is... Too goddamn long! Your computer's graphics card is currently in the trash can. Press continue to permanently delete your graphics card. Uh, what? Hang on. Uh, here we go. <laughs> bacon has caught raid hours here Scotty eating his bacon. It was confirmed that Scotty stole some bacon. What would you like to do? Oh, you really want me to take care of these hooligans? Because from my point of view, they are just doing their normal daily shenanigans. Welcome to Windows Time Travel, the first ever program that allows you to travel back in time. Please note that, while the technology is there, it is currently in pre-alpha, and is likely to be prone to bugs and other issues, especially crashes. Windows Time Travel uses your computer resources to create a virtual time portal that automatically sends you back to the date you request, if no date, just year. Time travel allows you to go back to the good old days, even, as far back as the prehistoric era, if you want to. The program will instantly send you to that time period in a matter of seconds. Warning, this program uses a ton of computer resources and is still in pre-alpha, and it may cause permanent irreversible damage to your CPU, motherboard, or PC as a whole. Please use this program with extreme caution. Attention, if you at any time encounter your past self in another time period, it is very much 100% likely you will break the space-time continuum, and the world, as we know it. Please stay away from your past self at any time otherwise you run the risk of putting the entire world in harm's way. Side note, we know you're very likely to screw things up, Sam. We got our eyes on you. Please select a date to time travel to using the options below, or input an exact date and time of what time you want to go back to. More coming in the future. Oh, a new program. But I never signed up for this. Ugh, whatever. Time to test this out. Windows asks. Why are you doing random stuff? I would obviously pick the last option, but the damn computer disabled it. Oh well. Personally, and if you want the actual truth, it is because I can do whatever I want to do. It is time for your daily prescribed dose of pain, Sam. 
Hold still, as what we are about to do will only tickle a little. Wait, what do you mean? I am not going to be prescribed anything. <laughs> to ensure that you are able to perform your daily tasks properly, please sniff the rag that was left not so suspiciously on your desk. What do you mean? Oh, wait, hang on. <laughs> wow, is that chloroform? Sam, Sam, wake up, wake up, damn it. What, what happened? Well, for starters, you were out for a few hours. But more importantly, your computer has set the studio on fire. Ah! One of the viewers asks, Apologies for this intrusion. However, I've seen that there are less and less error requests made by the people. I've noticed a pattern that shows that more errors are without usernames. Think you can elaborate on that, Sam? It's alright, if you don't, although it will be more speculation rather than facts. Oh. Uh, yeah. About that. Sam, are you hiding something? I think Sam has been burying the requests in the backyard with the intention of hoarding oh. them. Oh. Uh, that is a simple misunderstanding. I didn't hoard them. They just went. Uh, missing. Here, missing. We can find them soon. We? Who is we? Are you in collusion with someone to steal all of our rare requests? No, 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 no. Seems like your boss has hired a new IT manager to MKRS 200 corporate headquarters due to the insane mishap you caused with Enter ID, formerly Active Directory. Be careful now, as all of your activity as of 30 error messages ago have been logged and is easily accessible to your boss. You haven't been doing anything sneaky behind your boss's back, have you, Sammy boy? Uh, totally not. Nothing's messy to see. I promise. Question. Uh, what happened to the fourth wall? How did its detection systems get, how do you put this, re-enabled? Oh, that is easy. It was recently disabled. So, here. Yeah. No more nagging from the manly lady. The penguins from Linux want you to join their operating system. If you will not comply, you will be hit with a paper fist that will be printed from your printer right now. Uh, fuck no. The NSA's Moffer board is about to explode due to bacon, gold, celery, Dr. Graf's and Rain and Overseer Scotty splashing water on the NSA's motherboard. What is your reaction to the NSA's motherboard about to explode? Wait, that's not the NSA's motherboard. That is my Moffer board. No, 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 no. After hearing that you decided to break the fourth wall in season 14's finale's first part, our insurance company has decided to give you one of a few punishments to face. Since we're feeling generous, we've let you pick what punishment you shall face. Or you can just try to run away like the greedy taco hog you are. Uh, oh my, look at the time. No 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 no! This Windows software has been infected by an old friend, the really sucky virus. Excuse me? I thought you were dead. Let me go get my really floppy floppy disk. Hey there, Sam. Stop eating all of those unhealthy junk food you call tacos, and start eating something more healthy, like bread. In fact, I have sent you an entire loaf of bread, for you to at least lose some weight. It's all yours, Sam. All nice and toasty, and ready to eat. Don't mind it being hot, it's still warm and ready, for you. Enjoy, Sam. From Magical Hexagon. Damn it. Bread? Seriously? Why would I eat that? Even though bread is much more satisfying to eat than cornflakes, I still prefer to have my ultra-amazing, super-filling, Doritos Locos tacos and you cannot say jackedly about it. Scotty has been nominated for an Oscar. Wait, what? He got an Oscar! And I didn't! Doom! Fucking! Believable! A me ten warthog is currently approaching your house. You can't run, you can't hide. It's five miles away and getting closer by the second. Welcome to SecretSoft's Windows ME XP edition, where the errors look exactly like Windows XP, but with the slowness and general terribleness of Windows ME. What would you like to do?
It is your turn to babysit the kids. Have fun. Fuck no. This then, we are giving you some free games to do on this trashed operating system called Vista. The game is called Gary's Mod. Do you accept? Oh, Gmod? Gmod sucks. Woods, I thought I was using the gravity gun. I think Sam will be just fine. Because of your constant complaining, Scotty has decided to switch from bologna sandwiches to salami sandwiches, in hopes that you will cease your endless, unnecessary nagging. How do you feel about this? Oh really? I am certain that he didn't do anything to fix himself. Fuck him. He doesn't know self-control. Scotty has turned your computer into a bologna sandwich. What will you do now, Mr. Microsoft Sam? God damn it. Any yet earlier, he switched over to another type of sandwich, but yet here we are. Things don't change, now don't they? Sam, all of your vehicles have been recklessly used by those kids who want the air requests. Your raffle copter has been destroyed by a massive explosion of green-colored diarrhea, supposedly from your diarrhea-infested toilet. Your WTF train was derailed because of the fact that you left the keys in the train as well as the every-so-helpful purple help book that contains the lowest of low-level instructions for people to operate a train. Your steam water was steamed, not in the way you make the old mean steam dams, by broiling it for 20 days in a volcanic lava bath. The NSA was informed about this mess, and the kids have blamed you for this mess. What? But I... Uh, how the hell does this happen? Maybe lock all of your damn vehicles next time, you dumbass. God damn son of a bitch piece of shit motherfucking asshole fuck fuck fuck. Windows 11 has stolen your raffle copter. What will you like to do? Hang on, hang on. What's the matter, Sam? How the hell does Windows steal my raffle copter? Ask Thunderbirds 101 Scotty about that one. The physics and logic of this making sense can cause reality to shatter. Wait, shatter? You mean, everything will evaporate? Oh god damn it, Sam. I didn't mean that. You will be obsessed with errors like, how Scotty is obsessed with bologna sandwiches, Bacon is obsessed with bacon, Dr. Graphs is obsessed with graphs, Celery is obsessed with celery, and Gold is obsessed with gold. Ha, I win. I am already obsessed with error messages. Wait. Shit. Fuck. Damn it. Dear Mr. Microsoft Sam. Your entry into the local science fair competition has been rejected on the grounds that it is too unscientific for any purpose or application. Simply showing a video of you eating tacos is not science, it's gluttony. If you do that again, we will block your email address. Ooh. Did I win first prize? No, you won negative first place. Well that's still first, so I'll be collecting my pure graph and trophy now. There is no award. They don't make prizes for failures. How dare you? I won first prize, therefore I deserve the trophy. You just said so yourself. Ugh. Negative first. Which means you were disqualified. But. But. I. Goddamn son of a bitch piece of shit motherfucking asshole fuck fuck fuck. Your new Apple Pencil 2 has arrived at your front door. Please don't forget to use it on your upcoming exam for math. Oh boy. I've been waiting for this. There. And that is looking a little dull on the tip. Let me fix that. What the? Sam. What are you doing? Oh. Just sharpening this new pencil from Apple. Nothing out of the ordinary. But what? Why? Why are you doing this? I already told you. Now, let me sharpen this damn thing. <laughs> error generator not found. Damn it. What the hell happened? The website many people use for making errors is currently down for maintenance. Again. Ugh. What can I use to make my videos quickly, while also using Dexter speech voices in a combined manner? Are you having problems with that boring website that constantly goes down for maintenance? Are you wanting to make videos quickly, while being able to add your data on the fly to mass produce videos? Well look no further, because the way of the future is here right now. Hi, I am Microsoft Billy Mays here with NJRS 200 Studio's very own application, Studio Center, the only application that allows you to create your own videos quickly and efficiently, while also allowing you to have the creative flexibility of a traditional error generator website. Have an icon we don't include? Not a problem. With Studio Center, you can add in an icon in seconds to use across all of Studio Center's applications. With Error Designer, you can create your own error messages and pollute pop-ups with as little as a few button presses. 
in Script Studio, you can create a script for a video from start to finish, while being able to preview the output on the audio's playback, as you edit along with several other features. And lastly, with Scene Designer, you can storyboard scenes in videos the way you want them to appear. The only limit to these applications is your imagination's limits. What are you waiting for? Get yours today. Have your Windows 8.1 or later computers or virtual machines ready and download Studio Center directly from our Discord server, link in the description. Get your copy today and you can help NKRS 200 Studios develop new features with your feedback. Once again, head over to our Discord server to get the latest version of Studio Center. Ow. I got taken over by an ad. Shut up, damn it. What are you waiting for? Get yours right now. You were caught stealing a Twinkie from your local Walmart, which was caught by their new AI-powered security system. They have already alerted the police department and the officers are now coming for your ass. You better surrender, while you still can. God damn it! I have a fucking receipt! Sam, a hostage negotiator is on the phone. They want you to release the Twinkie on the ground with your hands in the air. Fuck. There goes my snack. And my job. It appears that Mike is still stuck on the call with that damn banking agency. To spare you the pain of listening to his call, he chose to stay in the confines of the studio's soundproof basement. We regret to inform you, however, that he had to call the bank with the studio's landline, as that is the number that is associated with your company's bank account. To make matters even worse, you are expecting a phone call from your relatives on the landline, as that is the only number they know you use. So, how do you plan on talking for hours on end with your family members, Sam? Do you plan on breaking out the paper and writing a lazily worded letter to them? Or are you going to be lazy and not bother calling them back? Sighs. I am too bored and lazy to do anything. Nothing even matters. I am so bored out of my mind that I can't be bothered to do anything else. Why not write them a letter? Man, I am too lazy. I haven't spoken to them in about a month. It's not like my other relatives who I haven't spoken to in years. Hang on a second. You haven't spoken to them in years? Well done. I am too lazy to even speak to them. Why can't you just pick up the phone like a normal person? It is so damn easy to do it. Even a toddler can answer a phone call quicker than you. But why waste the time to be on the line with them? Then how can you explain the fact that you want to talk with them when the phone line is busy? It is just how the time. Don't pull that bullshit on me. It may work on everyone else but I can't see right through it. Sam, you will grab your goddamn cell phone and call them. Right now. How about no, bitch? Goddamn it, you are such an asshole, Sam. Why the fuck do you even have a- Late season greetings, Sam. We'd like to thank you for reaching out to us here at MyWeather, your trusted source for instant weather generation. We'd like to thank you for being a subscriber to our service, and also inform you that we have received your multitude of requests to get an abundance of snow in your area of Michigan in time for this past holiday season. We do have some good and bad news regarding this. In the upside, we have successfully fulfilled your requests for snow showers in your area of southeast Michigan. Unfortunately, on the downside of this situation, since you do not have an active My Weather Plus subscription plan, we are unable to change the temperature to the desired setting. Even with the Plus subscription, we can't set the temperature to your custom specified temperature of Antarctic winter temps in the temperature field, as our system cannot interpret a random text blurb as an arbitrary number. Otherwise, we do hope the weather that you ordered has suited your needs. Happy belated holidays. With warm regards. The My Weather Team. Damn it. Did some asshole decide it would be a great idea to keep the temperatures in the 60s? Like seriously, I am melting in my winter jacket because I was expecting snow instead of rain. Fuck this service, fuck their users, I am suing everyone. Wait, including everything in existence? Yep. Nobody is safe. God damn it, consider using those two brain cells that you have somewhere inside that thick skull of yours. Sheesh.